What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. I've been seeing some of the craziest transformations from the anabolic diet on Instagram, man. Y'all are killing it. Those of you that are making the recipes, following the diet, eating what you want, and making gains, man, it's a beautiful thing. In today's video, man, we're gonna take it back to the 90s. A time when you were innocent, filled with joy, childhood wonderment. When you looked up to adults and thought they had everything figured out, then you became an adult, and then you realized we're all just children in big grown-up bodies. You got a little more hair and a lot more debt. But let's keep the mood light. When I was but a wee Lad, we always had a pantry stocked with snacks. And one of those snacks was a Rice crispy treat. Crispy and crunchy Rice Krispies, that marshmallow flavor, they were great. But looking back on it, it's literally just fat and carbs, almost no protein. The anabolic rating is a zero. But with this recipe, we're gonna change that. In today's video, man, we're making anabolic Rice crispy treats. Not only are these things crispy, crunchy, creamy, delicious, you eat a few of them and it's gonna make your biceps snap, crackle, and pop. This recipe is perfect for grab and go if you're looking for a sweet protein packed treat to lug on the road with you. Or heck, you can even make the whole recipe and eat it at one time. I'm not here to judge. However you plan on utilizing this delicious recipe, understand one thing. There's no way you're not gonna love it. As always, man, if you have the RGF recipe book, link in description, it has been updated. This recipe's in there along with every other one of my anabolic recipes. We are now over a hundred pages in this thing, guys, filled with recipes, information. If you're trying to follow this diet and you want a step-by-step -step guide right in your pocket, every ingredient, every macro, everything you need right here, then you better head down there and get it. But I'm telling you, this could be the best investment you ever made, it could change your life. And I don't say that lightly, man. I mean that, real talk. So if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! First thing we need is a food scale and a mixing bowl. This recipe is stupid simple, guys. It's about as simple as getting your personal training certificate. Laughably easy and you're in no way qualified. First thing we do, set our mixing bowl on our food scale and grab a container of fat-free plain Greek yogurt. We need 112 grams and make sure when you're buying Greek yogurt that you're buying the plain unflavored. Next up, we need 13 grams of Jet Puffed Marshmallow Cream. This is really gonna help give it that marshmallow flavor that we all know and love. She's a little sticky though. Next up, we need 112 grams of fat-free cream cheese. This will mix better if you let it get to room temperature, but it ain't a necessity, bud. Don't overthink it, man. Just make the recipe, build muscle, burn fat, grow a beard. Live anabolic. Now we just need 77 grams of a vanilla-based whey protein powder. As always, I'm using that Final Boss, baby, which is now actually back in stock. So you better get it for a sold out, bud. I don't need any more angry DMs. Available at FinalBossHorns.com, Amazon.com, 2 days and RJF10, you know it. Now we just need 10 grams of a zero calorie sweetener. Zero calories, no side effects, except for ab veins, that's the only one. And I really think that's a side effect we can all live with. Now we just wanna go in with a spoon and slowly mix all this together. And once you're done mixing, our batter should be creamy, smooth, and look like this. At this point, we're practically done. We just got a couple more steps. It wouldn't be Rice Krispie Treats without some crispy rice cereal. You don't need no name brand. I just got the most generic, cheapest box I can find. I mean, it's all the same, really. I don't feel like the list of directions on making crispy rice cereal is a very long one. Could be wrong, though. So in our mixing bowl, we're just gonna weigh out 70 grams. I'm telling you, man, this stuff's light, too. You get a lot of Rice Krispies for not a lot of weight. And once again, we're just gonna grab our spoon, get down in here and start mixing everything together. And the goal here, we want every single Rice Krispie to be coated in our little batter. I'm telling you guys, just wait till you try these, man. It's gonna bring you all the way back to Dexter's Lab and Dragon Ball Z. Or maybe Hey Arnold if you had a bad childhood. And now that our Rice Krispies are all mixed up, we're just gonna grab a small square cake pan, hit it with some nonstick, and then spoon our mixture right down in here. And now you'll just take your spoon and flatten it out until it molds into this pan. Depending on the size of pan you use, they could be bigger, they could be smaller, a little thinner, a little wider. Doesn't really matter at the end of the day though, bud, they're all gonna eat the same. And once you got them all spread out, it should fit in your pan perfectly and look like this. Now 
Now I'm just gonna wrap it in plastic wrap. Boom, 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 boom. And now we just wanna put it in the fridge to chill for two, three hours. Let it firm up a little bit. It's a little sticky right now, we need it to firm. So I'll just put it right in here, boom. But don't you worry, man, I'm not gonna make you wait. I got one right here that I prepped in advance. Let's finish up. So all I wanna do is cut this into four different treats. Let's go right down the middle, boom. Then we'll go down the middle again. Now we just go back in our mixing bowl and weigh out 30 more grams of Rice Krispie cereal. And then just take your Rice Krispie treat, put it down in here, move it around a little bit. Hey, look at that, man. Those Rice Krispies stick right to it. Gorgeous, baby. And rinse and repeat for the rest of your Rice Krispies. And boom, guys, our anabolic Rice Krispie treats are done. You might notice I got two out now because I'm gonna eat them. We're gonna share that experience together. But these ones, I just wrap in a little bit of plastic. You either put them in the fridge for grab and go or my personal favorite, freeze them bad boys. They take longer to eat that way. It's gonna be more satisfying and it tastes like a frozen dessert, real talk. Can't lose that way. So now let's proceed to the moment you've all been waiting for. We've been staring at it long enough, guys. I think it's time to pull up a chair, strap on the old feed bag and try these things together. You guys ready? Let's go. Go. All right, guys, time to get down to business. Before we bite into these bad boys, man, we gotta keep the doctor away real quick. The older you get, the more stubborn that guy gets. He wants to shove fingers in places you don't need him to be shoving them. So let's just keep him away. One scoop, final boss greens, right there. Ah. A little spicy. I ain't gonna lie and tell you this tastes good because it doesn't. But it sure tastes better than a doctor's visit, I'll tell you that. Available at FinalBossFormers.com, Amazon.com, two-day shipping, code RJF10, all the deets. You guys understand it. You guys know it. It should be burned into your retinas by now. All right, let's get down to business, man. I'm gonna do this one right here. That one just looks like fun, doesn't it? I mean, I think that's the one, boys. Three, two, one, let go. Mm, he shoots, he scores. This is like the perfect blend of flavors. It's like crunchy on the outside. The middle's gooey, but still chewy because of the Rice Krispies. And it's got like this marshmallow flavor with like a little bit of vanilla, a little creamy. Wow. Mmm. These are banging, bug. Oh my gosh. And if they're this good like this, imagine them frozen. Oh. Mm. I think this is better than the Rice Krispies I used to keep. But the advantage to these, though, is that there's no sugar, almost zero fat, and they're anabolic. They're going to help us towards our goals, man. When people ask you what you eat on your diet, I want you to say Rice Krispies. I want you to say cheesecake. I want you to say pizza and I want their jaws to hit the floor. All these cases right now with this pandemic, I wanna see cases of people's jaws dislocating and hitting the floor. Cause people still don't think you can eat like this and see results, man, but we're here to prove them wrong. This is way better than it has any right to be. You gotta make this. You gotta tag me on Instagram. Let me know what you think, man. This is just absolutely incredible. And when I tell you the macros, you might just call me crazy because this shouldn't be possible for what we're doing here. Heaven to Betsy. That is just picturesque, bud. Someone frame that up and put it in a museum. This deserves some recognition. Oh my God. This is one of my proudest creations. This is too good. How do I not make these and just have these around all the time? Absolutely perfect. For real, I know I say this all the time, but the key to being successful long-term on a diet is eating food foods you actually enjoy, things you look forward to. Every meal on my diet, every single day, I look forward to it. I look forward to my breakfast, I look forward to my snacks, I look forward to my pizzas, my McFlurries, my blizzards, I look forward to all of it. How can you fail a diet that you actually like? I don't think you can, So I'm telling you. There's not a, anything about this that feels like work. Nothing about this is difficult, hard, or am I forcing myself to eat it? I want to eat this, I wanna eat the other two in there. That's how you know you're on the right track, man. When your diet food sounds better to you than driving through McDonald's and gaining 10 pounds. This is way better than that, bud. I give this one an A plus. Hands down, A plus. 100% you're going to college. Not that goofy community one either, bud. We're getting you into Harvard. So in this entire recipe, if you make it exactly how I did it, exact same measurements, everything, what you end up with for the whole thing is two grams of fat, 90 grams of protein, 132 grams of carbs, zero fiber. So if you do what I did and you split it into four different treats, you could obviously make A, you can make 16, however you want to do it, bud. But if you do what I did, each of these big Rice Krispies is half a gram of fat, 23 grams of protein, 33 grams of carbs. Not too shabby, 
man. I mean, that's legit better macros than a protein bar. So you can either go buy a box of protein bars, or you can whip these guys up at home, enjoy them, cover them in cellophane, put them in the fridge, pull them out when you need them, freeze them, do whatever you want, man. You're gonna save some money, and I promise you're gonna like this way better. Home. That's it, man. This ain't gotta be complicated, bud. All you gotta do is get in the kitchen, start whipping some stuff up, man. Count your calories, track your protein, you're in there, bud. Doesn't really get easier than that, man. Really doesn't. Mm. Look at that, man. We're down to the final little bits. Mm. So good. Final bite, ladies and gentlemen. It's been fun. It's been a good time. But now we gotta take our own, bud. Hum. Mm. Rock solid. As always, man, if you have the RGF recipe book, link in description. This is in there. Every other recipe's in there. One stop shop for the anabolic diet. If you want something, I guarantee there's a recipe in here that's gonna satisfy that craving. If you wanna know what I've eaten today so far, French toast for breakfast, anabolic quesadilla for lunch, buffalo chicken dip for lunch number two, and then you just watch me have two anabolic rice krispies. That's been my diet. Now, if I wasn't having the anabolic versions of these meals, then uh, that would be a terrible diet. I'd probably be really out of shape. But since I'm putting my best foot forward and I'm making the recipes, spending time in the kitchen, I can have this stuff and still make results, still lose weight, still stay muscular, still make gains, guys. It's not that hard. You just gotta get in this kitchen, make it happen. And I'm telling you, this recipe book can get you there, man. Link in description. You get it one time, you get every future recipe update for free. Mad them all the time. You guys see it. Uh, we're constantly adding to this thing, man. It's gonna be the best dang cookbook in the world by the time we're done with it. I promise you that. And if all this is confusing for you and you just wanna have someone make you a plan, you just wanna answer some questions, you wanna lay it out for you, so easy, even a caveman can do it. Check out my site, ranchacefitness.com, my personal trainer. I can whip you up something, bud. You just gotta put the work in. You gotta show up, get it done, and you're gonna see results. I don't wanna hear no excuses. I don't hear none of that. I teach you to do what I put on the paper, and you're gonna get results. Check out my site if you want that. Appreciate you guys, as always, for watching. Smash thumbs up, comment anything down below. You guys have been killing it lately. I literally don't even know how to thank you. Hopefully, bringing these videos to you is enough thanks, but hey, if it's not, you guys let me know, and I'll do something. Do we want an eating challenge? I don't know. You guys let me know. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, and until next time, guys, I'll see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Feeling more anabolic after that already, bud. Ugh.